So A differentiate each of the following with respect to x. So A 1 over 3x plus 2. So which is equal to this one we know this one is the power of 1. When we bring it up we get 3x plus 2 power of negative 1. So when we have power like this and we can't expand we can directly differentiate. So dy over dx is equal to so first you bring the power forward, so you get negative 1 here, and then this one is 3x plus 2, and then you minus the power with 1, negative 1 minus 1. So you firstly, you don't touch what is inside, because later on, you need to differentiate what is inside. So here you get negative 1, or you don't have to write negative 1, right? So this one is 3x plus 2, negative 2. So when you differentiate this, we differentiate term by term. So when we differentiate this, 3x you will get 3. And when we differentiate only constant with our x, you will get 0. So you get negative 3, 3x plus 2, negative 2. B, 1 over 2x minus 7 to the power of 3. So we get 2x minus 7 power of negative 3. So dy over dx is equal to, so we bring the power for, forward, so we get negative 3, 2x minus 7, and then we need to minus the power with, so minus 1. So firstly, we don't, uh, we just let this be like this, and then we have to differentiate what is inside. So you see, so you just do the normal differentiation without touching this one, and then you differentiate what is inside. So here you get negative 3, 2x minus 7, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. When you differentiate this, when you differentiate the one with x, you will only take the constant. And when you differentiate constant without x, so 0. So here you get negative 3, 2x minus 7. So this one would be negative, negative 4. So here, you see here, so this one, 6 is equal to two times, 3 times 2. So you see the power is negative. So you get negative 6 divided by 2x minus 7. This one would be 4. So this is done. So for A, I forgot to do, do it like this. Since the power is negative, you have to bring it down like this. So C, 5 divided by 3 minus 4x to the power of 5. So here you can bring the, this one. 5 to the power of 3 minus 4x power of negative 5. So when you differentiate dy over dx is equal to. So here the constant here would be here because this is multiplying by x you see. So this one you bring the power forward you get negative 5. So this one would be 3 minus 4x and then you minus the power by 1. And then you differentiate with what is inside. So 3 minus 4x. So here you get, this is multiply, right? So you can directly multiply 5 with negative 5. You get negative 25. 3 minus 4x power of negative 6. When you differentiate this, you see here this one is 3. So constant when differentiate, you get 0. So the one with x, when you differentiate, you will get only the constant. So here... Negative 25 times uh, negative 4, you get 100. 3 minus 4x to the power of negative 6. So you don't want the power to be negative. So 100 divided by 3 minus 4x to the power of 6. So here D, so 3 over 4, 5x minus 6 power of 8. So we know that 4, 3 over 4 is constant, right? So, constant. So, this one, we need to bring it up. So, it will become 5x minus 6 to the power of negative 8. So, you see here? So, now you can differentiate. So, you so you bring the power forward. So, actually, you can directly multiply negative 8 with 3 over 4. Okay. So, you bring the power forward here. So, you get... 5x minus 6. After you bring the power forward, you need to minus the power with 1. Okay. And then you differentiate with what is inside. So here we get this one can be cut off. So 3 times negative 2, you get negative 6. 5x minus 6. Negative 8 minus 1, you get negative 9. 
So when you differentiate this, so you differentiate term by term, differentiate 5x, you get 5, differentiate negative 6, you get 0. Because when you differentiate something with x, you only take the constant. When you differentiate the one with just the number, constant, it will become 0. So here, negative 6 times 5, you get negative 30. So 5x minus 6 power of 9, which is equal to negative 30 divided by 5x. This one is negative 9 minus 6 to the power of 9. So e said 2x minus 7 is equal to 2x minus 7 to the power of half. So power of half you cannot just you can you cannot just expand like that. So you can you can just do differentiation. So dy over dx is equal to so you bring the power forward. So the power is 1 over 2. So this one you get 2x minus 7 and then you minus the power with 1. And then you take what is inside and differentiate. So which is equal to half. So this one would be 2x minus 7. So half minus 1 you get negative half. So when you differentiate here, you differentiate term by term. You differentiate the one with only x, you get the constant which is 2. You differentiate something without the x, it will become 0. So here, you can multiply constant with constant, half times 2, you get 1. And here you get 2x minus 7, power of negative half. So you don't want the power to be negative, so 1 over 2x minus 7, half. Or 1 over 2x minus 7. So f... 6 minus 3x is equal to 6 minus 3x to the power of half. So again, dy over dx is equal to, so we bring the power forward, so we get 6 minus 3x, and then the power minus 1, so half minus 1. After that, we differentiate what is inside, which is 6 minus 3x. So here you get half, 6 minus 3x, Half minus 1 is negative half. So when you differentiate this one, so only constant you get 0. So you don't have to write 0. And the one with x you will get the constant. So this one is negative 3. So negative 3 times half, constant with constant, you get negative 3 over 2. This one is 6 minus 3x, negative half. So to make it positive, 3, negative 3 divided by 2, then this one will go down. So 6 minus 3x half, which is equal to negative 3 divided by 2. So we know power of half is equal to set of 6 minus 3x. So here g is 3x squared plus 5 is equal to, so again 3x squared plus 5 to the power of half. So you cannot expand this, right? So dy over dx is equal to, so you bring the power forward, which the power is half, you get half here, and then 3x squared plus 5, and then you minus the power with 1, so 1 over 2 minus 1. And then you differentiate what is inside, which is 3x squared plus 5. So here you get half, this one is 3x squared plus 5, half minus 1, you get negative half. So when you differentiate this one, we do it term by Term. So the first term you see the power is 2, which is actually you multiply the power forward. So when you bring it forward, actually you are multiplying with 3. So 2 times 3 is 6 and then x. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So x to the power of 1, you don't have to write the 1. So and we know that 5, when we differentiate, we get 0. So here we can multiply this one and this one. So half times 6x, we get 3x. And this one would be 3x squared plus 5 to the power of negative half. So here we get 3x divided by, so since the power is negative, so here we get 3x squared plus 5 half, which is also equal to 3x third 3x squared plus 5. Because 1 over 2, the power of 1 over 2 is equal to third. So here for H, we have 
x square minus x plus 1 which is equal to x square minus x plus 1 power of half. So dy over dx is equal to, we bring the power forward, we get half. So x square minus x plus 1. After we bring the power forward, then we, might, we minus the power with 1. So 1 over 2 minus 1. After that, we differentiate what is inside the bracket. Then we get x square minus x plus 1. So actually, you can directly write what is the differentiation without writing this one. So if you write d over dx and this equation, that means you haven't differentiated yet. But if you want to dif differentiate directly, you can directly multiply with the differentiation. So here you have half x square minus x plus 1 half minus 1 is negative half and when you differentiate this one you get x square when you differentiate you bring 2 to forward you get 2x right power of 2 minus 1 you get power of 1 or x and then we know that when we differentiate the one with x we only take the constant which is negative 1 and when we differentiate just the constant without the x it will become 0 so, which is equal to half 2x minus 1. This one is x square minus x plus 1 to the power of negative 2, negative half. So, actually, you can expand this one, right? When you can expand half times 2x, you get x. Half times negative 1, you get negative half. And you see the power is negative, so we have to bring it down to make it positive. So x square minus x plus 1, so the power is half. Okay, tak muat, so I bring it here, which is equal to x minus half divided by this one would be. So you see the power of half means square root of x square minus x plus 1. So you see here, you have the fraction here. So what happened is, so when I multiply with 2, so that I want to make the denominator of 2 here, so I get 2x minus 1, right? Divided by, this one would be x square minus x plus 1. So when you divide this one, actually you are bringing this one down, you get 2x minus 1, 2, third x square minus x plus 1. Okay, this is what you will get.